everyone, this is Touch of Grace, Better Ways, Better Days. It's a beautiful day and I want to thank all your, uh, all my viewers, all those that have been watching our videos, you have liked our videos, you have subscribed, you have commented, we really appreciate. And for us, we continue to bring uh, new guests every day so that you can be able to learn from them. So today we have our guests, we have two guests actually, Mutwiri and Gloria. Who are going to take us through what they do i have seen their creativity i have seen what they have been making and i want them to take us through what they have been making and you can be able to learn from them karibu ni sana gloria karibu mutiri karibu sana gloria talk to my viewer tell them about yourself uh, hello everyone my name is gloria jemutai uh, i'm a third year student doing computer science. We come from Baringo County <laughs> and Amarali. Yes. And uh, I like art. This is Gloria for you. Yes. This is Gloria for you. Then we have Muturi. Muturi, say hi to the viewer. Hello everyone. I'm Muturi from Naivasha. Uh, studying at Chika. That is Muturi for you, doing economics but also loves uh, art. Now, Tell me, what kind of art do you people do? What kind of art do you people do? Can you explain to the viewer what kind of art you do? We can start with you, Gloria, and then we go to Mutiri. So the kind of art we do, we do string art, where we make lampshades and uh, clocks. We take a board, then you, you do the numbers, and then you take a hammer, and so we string, and we paint and we create some beautiful and we show the pictures. Okay. Also we paint like simple portraits, animals. We really started right now currently. So we make that good but we are somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Okay. But really yes, there's something you can add. Yeah. Apart from that, we we also started with some furniture. Yes. Simple, simple coffee tables. Coffee tables. Yeah. Uh -huh. Some shelves. Some shelves. Yeah, yeah. And you all you make them using string also? No, 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 no. Yeah. What yeah. do you use? Board. We do board work. Yeah. You, you do board work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell me, how did you start? Who started? How did you start and who started? Because I can see both of you here. Yeah. Who started and how did you start? What made you start? What was the motivation? What made you start? Gloria. Actually, Joseph was the one who started. Yes. So I am a friend of Joseph. Uh -huh. So I went to his house uh -huh. and then I saw all these things and they were beautiful. Uh -huh. And I was so curious. Uh -huh. So he introduced me to making lampshades. Yeah. And now you are making them yourselves. Yes. Okay. Well, Joseph, how did you start? What made you start? Actually, mine is a bit funny. Yes. Yeah, like for the lampshades. I, I first got an order even before I, I, I knew how to make it. How? So, <laughs> <laughs> how did you get an order before you knew how to make them? I visited a place, the Light Mania, uh -huh. where a client or a friend uh -huh. had gone to purchase the lighting system of a hotel. Okay. No, from there, yeah. the, the lady, she was so interested in a kind of, of lampshades, uh -huh. though different kind. Uh -huh. Then they were made of size of Okay. And and as we just looked, every every okay, the, being shown a variety, she still was interested with them. Uh -huh. They were so expensive and all that. Uh -huh. I, I I thought I, okay. I thought I, <laughs> then I said. I think I can make this one. Naeza kukutengeneze. Yeah. Eh, ukajitokeze, ukasema, kama hindo nataka naeza kukutengeneze. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I looked at them. I was doing some artwork uh -huh. there before. Nilikuwa na blue gun. Okay. So, after kuangaria the shades at Light Mania, uh -huh. nikawana, ay, hii blue inakaya my blue gun back then. Okay. Then nakasema, ay, ikitu, ikitu. Naeza tengeneze ikitu. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then I was told to make a sample uh -huh. to one. Uh -huh. I had to wait. Usa order. Ukambiwa go and make a sample alafu lete. Challenge sasa iko kwako. So, eh what what happened after that? Everything I had in mind, 
Whatever you had in mind did not work. Not even one. Uh-huh. Then? Oh, so I had to find out now how uh-huh. how they do it. Uh-huh. Like money, yeah? uh-huh. Now, uh-huh. Uh-huh. these things are manufactured in China uh-huh. by a machine. Uh-huh. <laughs> and like and here you are, you want to make them yourselves. Uh-huh. 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 I make the sample. So I had to improvise. Uh-huh. Instead of the size of twins, uh-huh. which are not even available, uh-huh. most in Nairobi, I had a yarn, it was a better option. The okay. yarns, the many colors, the uh-huh. shouting for uh-huh. the bright colors. Uh-huh. Yeah. From there, then I had a So I had to make them in that shape. I remain in Gumu. I found out sasa about the glue. Uh-huh. Yeah, now from there, I cut after mold and then uh-huh. it took me over a month. Baby. It took you over a month? Yeah. Uh-huh. Now from there, after finding a mold, a mold, this is a mold, it's like a beach ball. It's like a beach ball. Then, after making one sample like a proviewer, uh-huh. now you are told, make a 60 pieces, another nightmare. <laughs> then, uh-huh. uh, so, so, Nikuenda kutafutana na easy beach balls, unenda sports house, unakosa, unenda wapi. Finally, I came across some. Sando, I went, took a loan, bought them, nikaunda, and that's how it started. That time you were still alone. You were struggling alone that time. Yeah, though I was, I had the help of, uh, actually uh-huh. he's by commenter. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, yeah, and nikuwa na contract ya kujenga the, the hotel. Uh-huh. So, walikuwa na final finishing. Uh-huh. So, uh, collating you now the, the, the interior, the, the deco and whatever. So, I have to take care the lampshades. The hotel is in Naivasha, it's made to a Hotel Rudy. Okay, uh-huh. Hotel Rudy is in Karen. Uh-huh. Yeah, there, then there is Naivasha one, it's made to the port. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so uh, you, you made the lampshades for that hotel? Yeah, uh-huh. that, that, that's why it all began about lampshades. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We will be right back. This is Touch of Grace. We will be right back with more. Don't go away. Welcome back to Touch of Grace. We are still with our guests today. Uh, Mutwiri and Gloria. They have been making these lamp um, shades. You can see them here. Very beautiful colors. This is red. We have purple. We also have, um, is this orange or? Orange. This is orange. This is what they have been making. Now, other than this, what else do you do? Uh, paint. You paint. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we also have clocks. Uh-huh. Well, we also use string okay. for decoration, but then the clock, uh-huh. it contains the board, uh-huh. uh, a little bit of painting, a little bit of painting, and then the string art. Yeah, we also have the furniture, uh-huh. coffee tables, coffee tables, yeah, you mentioned uh-huh. and, that. And uh, the shelves, uh-huh. we also have uh, shelves. Uh-huh. A lot more to come. <laughs> yeah, a lot more to come. <laughs> so we watch this space. Yeah. There is a lot more to come. Yeah. Are there challenges? In doing this, who are your customers actually? Whom do you sell to these lamps? Lamps, uh, lamps, students. Uh-huh. You sell to students, neighbors, friends, neighbors, friends business. business, even yeah. business. Like now, he's talking about a hotel yes. that ordered this. Yeah. How much do you sell this one? The big one, so, uh, this one, yes, actually, you have bigger ones, you have bigger ones than this one, yes. okay. This is the medium size, yes. And it goes between 500 to 400 shillings. 500 to 400 shillings. Yes. Okay. And then this one? Well, this is the smallest one. This is the smallest one. This one, uh, this one goes for like between 200 yeah. to 300. 200? To 300. To 300. And finally this one? So this one goes for 300 to 400. 300 to? 400. 400. Yes. Okay. What are some of the challenges that you, you have uh, when you are doing this? Uh, with, uh, when uh, the 
days who are like it has been this week mm -hmm. uh, we cannot get enough sunlight to let the glue dry well okay so it all you need the sun yes, for it to dry yeah. to dry well yes. okay uh -huh. also uh, the, the materials the materials yeah, you see you have to order some of them from Nairobi you have to order some of them from Nairobi yes and okay. then they're also expensive they are also expensive yeah because yeah. if you find that you make them and then it doesn't the sun does not sh shine on them yes. well enough yes you suffer a loss because you have to redo everything again you have to redo everything again yes okay uh -huh. So it's uh, expense, uh, not getting the materials uh, um, available, readily available, and the, and the weather. Those are some of the challenges that you have. How do you balance your studies and um, doing this? You are in third year, he is in fourth year. How do you balance? Um, during the weekends, yes. you might have at least four hours of free time. Okay. Yeah, during so the weekend, you have some free time yeah. and you are able to do this. Yes. Okay. Now tell me, you're doing computer science. What is the relationship between computer science and making these lampshades? <laughs> okay. Yes. There is no relationship yes. per se. Yeah. But you know, art is something that I love. I love sharing. It's something that you, you love. Know, you know, beauty so uh -huh. I make beautiful things. Uh -huh. Also, it doesn't relate to computer science, but you know you can have so many passions. You can have so many passions. Yes. This is one of the passions. Yes. Do you intend to continue after your studies with this? Yes. You do? Yeah, if I have the time uh. and it will not inconvenience anything. Yes. Continue. You'll continue. Yes. Okay. Yes, Joseph. Yeah. What are some of the challenges that you have doing this? Uh, okay, most of them are the ones she she has mentioned. Said, yes. yeah. 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 I, for the market also, yes. it's a bit challenging. Though being a new product, yes. you, you find it's not that big challenge. The yeah. challenge is reaching out to many people. Uh. Yeah. Especially maybe you get an order okay. from somewhere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. These things are very light. Yes. But they are also very bulky. They are bulky. Yeah, you can't fold them and you can't fold them. them. So transportation can be a problem. Yeah, it's, it's a challenge. Okay. Yeah. So Mostly when you get an order from far away, yes. you go camp there, make there. And you make where you are. Yeah. You go with the materials, yeah. <laughs> you sit there and you, and you, you make there. there. Uh -huh. that, that way it's more easy. It's more easy. Uh, okay. Since you find, even in a, you might have a vehicle, uh -huh. but you can't, they, they, they are huge ones. These ones are small ones, they customize this one for the students here, you know, most of the okay. they like small things, yes. things also. Yeah. But they are huge ones, like yeah, for huge the hotel ones. ones. For the hotels. Yeah, they are very good. So you find in one car you are transporting like four of them. Yeah. So if you have an order of 20, yeah. those are very many trips. They are very many trips. Yeah, so it becomes expensive. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, like now you, you are completing. I think you are, you are about to complete. Yeah. You intend to continue with this? Of course. Uh, yeah. You do? I will. How do you market your product? How do you market this? For me, it was word of mouth. I was just told, there is a lady called Gloria. Yeah. Actually, most of our, our clients uh, here, uh, they, they, we do it like referral. Uh -huh. like, referral. Like today, we will walk, when you are walking back with them, carrying them, you find a person asking about it. Yes. What are they? Yeah, they're interested. Yeah, they're interested. Okay. They make an order. They uh -huh. make an order. Uh -huh. Like that, most of the people here, that's how they have come to know us. To know you. Yeah, but oh. out there, you go with a sample, you show them, mm. tell them. Uh -huh. yeah, mo most of the institutions, uh -huh. like the ones that make an order of many pieces. Yes. Yeah, mostly our main customers and the hotels. Yeah. Yeah, outdoors, indoors. Uh -huh. yeah. But here you find some students who want some beautiful things in the house, the walls, paint. Yeah, and so they see from a friend to another friend okay. to another friend. They refer each other. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. refer each other. Thank you. I want you to tell the viewer something. That viewer can be your age mate, can be younger than you, can be older than you, but I want you to tell them something. Parting short to the youth, parting shot to someone there that is watching. We start with you, Gloria. 
Uh, what I would like to advise the viewer is, uh, whatever it is that you have in mind, you see something and you find it, it fascinates you and it looks like something you can do. Believe in yourself, go try learning it, experiment, practice, practice, and eventually you'll do whatever you want to do. Nothing is ever too hard. Yeah, just don't sit or say, Wanga, don't suck on your thumb. Uh -huh. You see something and it looks like something you can do? Yes. Just try it. Believe don't just yourself. Say, yeah, yeah, just try it. Okay. Yes, Joseph? Okay, for me, it's simple. Like, whatever it is, start. Fail as many times as possible. <laughs> yes. But eventually, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't postpone. If you took the order even before you knew how to make these things, yeah. start. you took the order and you started learning. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So they should not. Don't hesitate. Okay. Yeah. Any, any idea, start. Any idea? You start. They should start. The rest you unajulia mbele. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, today we had our, our guests, Gloria and uh, Joseph. And uh, we really appreciate what they are doing. I would want to say something. That sometimes we sit at home. Sometimes we also want to blame the government. Sometimes we blame our parents. Sometimes we blame our relatives. We say, you know, they are not helping me to get a job. They are not helping me to do this and that. And we keep on blaming people. But I want to say this. The world does not owe you anything. The government does not also owe you anything. Even your parents, they don't owe you anything. They gave birth to you. They raised you up. They took you to school. And that is it. The rest, you must work for it. So if you want it, you must work for it. Whatever you need, you must work for it. The world does not owe you anything. Anything you need from the world, can you go for it? Dream and go for it. Desire and go for it. Find out information. Get information. Get to know, how can I do this? Now, Joseph was told that these things are made in China using a machine. If he had given up at that point, he would not be making this. But he's saying, yes, they could be made from China, but there is still something that I can be able to do. So he continued to learn until now he can be able to, to, to do this. So kindly welcome from where you are. You have a vision, you have a dream, you have an idea. Start finding out information about it and continue working for it. The world does not owe you anything. If you need it, you must work for it. Thank you. Till next time, this is Touch of Grace. Better ways, better days. Continue to watch, continue to subscribe, continue to share, continue to um, comment, and let us learn together. God bless you.